There it is. There's uh there's your your dose of walnuts, peanuts, and insert other Donkey Kong affiliated things here. Let's a go. How you doing, Joel? While it boots up I will keep us on this screen. I just need to remember to actually change over this time. That'd be good. Ah, I see. Very, very good, the Persona 4 spin-offs, you say. Joel, if you could... Finally... Actually, you know what? Tell me another time. But I feel like if it's any of the weird dance games or anything, I might do one of them for a one-off, you know? If I have a, a method of playing it somehow, I might do it as like a little side meme when we finish the, uh, the main game. But anyway, we're um, all of this week. I've decided that um, I say all of this week. The next three days, so today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, we're gonna do a uh, two-hour stream. So we can try and get as much progress made with Persona as possible. I know it's only an additional 30 minutes to what we usually do, but... Yeah, three two-hour streams, Joel, that's right. And on Thursday we're back to an hour and a half, uh, an hour and a half, but... I thought... I haven't got too much longer till I go back to uni. We're not realistically going to finish Persona 4 by the time I go back. Like, God no, but... That is six hours, Joel, that's right. Damn. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of Persona this week. It's going to be good. Anyway, let's get on with it. So Nanako needs needs some attention. How you doing? That's right. We've got the um, we've got the thing, don't we? We have the thing she wants. The not Angel. We have not Archangel. We have that one, the Principality. Thank you, Twitch, for telling me I'm live. Oh, we haven't had that in a while. Um, cool, we got Principality. Let's do it. We're doing the do. Spend some precious time. Well, precious. You spend a precious moment, even. Sorry. No, no, nothing more. Okay, that's fine. Cool beans. Right. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't say it. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop. Why? I'm so angry. <laughs> Why was this your only voice line? Real, real talk for a minute, right? Why?
honest, I think I probably would have preferred the mopey one, Joel, I'm gonna be honest. Does she have voice acting at least, apart from Senpai and whatever else? I'm genuinely furious that we started it. We've already had the eight-year-old that's apparently the same age as us. I'm livid. I'm cancelling the streams. We're not doing two hours anymore. Fuck it. I'm livid. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the music stream. <laughs> music stream, the music room. I, I, I was really loud then as well. I'm probably going to get told to shut the fuck up in a minute. That's a good meme. Oh, I haven't been that angry in a while. Callum said some things to tilt me, but my god. Deadline is close. Joel, I think we're on floor 10. I think we've done pretty well regarding floor progress. We might even do that today. We might even... Actually, no, we're going to do the... There's a way of checking the weather, right? Uh, other than looking at TV. I think I, I ask you this almost every stream, and I keep fucking forgetting. We just got floor 10 and the boss fight. That's it, we were going to grind on floor 10, weren't we? That's what we were going to do. I seem to vaguely remember us talking about that. Would you say it's worth me doing the music thing today then? Or should we just completely devote today to finishing the dungeon? I don't really mind either way. We can do music. It looks like we can even do fucking track and field or whatever we're doing. Is it soccer? Football? Whatever. You can take... Can we? I thought you said we had to be 25. Oh no, we're all 24. I thought we were lower level than that, number one. Dave, I'm being a mechanic. Nice, Ben. How you doing? I'm sorry I was a little bit quiet on your stream earlier. I was summoned to play Among Us, but I kept your stream open, dude. I was having I was being a lucky boy. 24, 25 is fine, okay. Sure, should we just do that then? We're gonna sorry music. Senpai woman, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go to fucking Junez and tilt Dave. Sounds like a plan. I I feel like I'm gonna have a fucking hard time streaming today. I say a hard time. I feel extra hyper today, all right, all here. down to the fact I'm livid within the first ten minutes of playing this. It's something's clicked in my head that's made me fucking tilt. <laughs> So now, so now we're gonna be fucking hyperactive, Dave, for a whole stream. I hope you guys are happy. It's fine, thank you, showing it. No worries, Ben. No worries, no worries. Right, right. Time to save. Here we go. Let's go. ASMR, Dave's fucked off. We're gonna go playing Tilt, Dave, today. Why is he so tilted? Ben, one of the characters called me Senpai in the first, like, five minutes. Just rush floor 10? Got you, man. Got you. Did I say grind again? I meant, I meant... Oh, okay, no, don't worry. Just telling me to rush it. You gotta go home, though. Dave is a different person again. I told you, I've probably got, I'm probably schizophrenic or something. Some shit. Um, several different people morphed into one Lego head-looking motherfucker. Okay, right. Right. Where's the fucking stairs? Hey, we got lucky. Right. Boss time. We need this energy for Siege Part 2. Now, they, when I'm playing Siege, I'm too... I have to be Zen to play Siege. If I was like this, I'd actually... I'd be worse than the US people in that chat then. I'd, I'd be a terrible, terrible person. Right, should I do anything before I go in? I think we're good, right? Uh, oh yeah, we can't... Why did I flip back to that one? I was about to say we can't show that one on Twitch, but yeah. That's fine, we'll look at it anyway. Um, There he is, your boy. Why am I so hyper today? I think it, it's the tilt. Something's clicked in my head. I'm speaking a million words a minute. There they are. See how you go on. It um it starts you from the floor you were on, right? If you fuck up, I seem to remember that's a thing. So we it's literally just going to send us back to this door anyway. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
fucking weeb guy. I know, right, Joe? How you doing, man? <laughs> Joe, you've joined at a weird fucking time. Oh, come now. Enough with the charade. Isn't it awful to deceive people? To deceive yourself? What's so bad about doing what I want to do? Is Monk TOS time? And that has nothing to do with it. I'm what you really want, aren't I? I'm not, I'm, you know what, chat, I, I'm not going to even explain it. I'm going to let you guys be confused. Hell no! I, I, <laughs> I don't know, Joe. He, he just likes it. So arrogant and self-centered. Cry to get angry, they gossip behind your back, they spread nasty lies. They look at me like some some disgusting thing and say that I'm a weirdo. It's a really weird voice direction to take Troy Baker in, isn't it? Like this must have been his weirdest thing. <laughs> Is this guy an incel? What a fucking laughing at me all the while. <laughs> what a chat message. You like to sew? What a queer. Painting is so not you. But you're a guy. You don't act like a guy. Why aren't you manly? What does it mean to be a guy? What does it mean to be manly? Girls are so scary. As I say, Joe, it's too complicated to explain. I ain't scared of them. We're currently in... Yeah, I'm not going to even bother. They never say those awful grating things. Yes, I vastly prefer men. Hell with that! What makes you think you can say that shit with my face? Yeah, Milky, you've more or less summed it up. Why, you're me. And I'm you. You do know that, don't you? No. No, uh, no way! So, okay, to basically sum it up, the guy here that isn't surrounded by a weird purple aura is the actual kanji guy or kanji guy and that one over there this this lad here this this fine specimen this guy is uh his inner like insecurity i guess sure fucking okay, everyone's here right we'll do cat in a minute beanie we're doing plot shit at the moment Satisfaction, god damn it, Beanie. Kanji-kun. Real question is why can't this guy stand straight? Mate, you just like standing at an angle, man. That's what he does. Everyone on guard. Right here we go. Weeb game. TM. Oh my god, what is the boss? I didn't even see that. Oh my fucking lord. I am a shadow. The true self. I'm not gonna go into it, Joe. <laughs> I'm just being true to myself. I'm just gonna let that's why. I'm gonna let this dungeon happen. And then we're gonna move on. We're not gonna talk about this again, yeah? Okay. Kanji-kun's true feelings? This isn't really him. It's just his emotions going haywire. This has nothing to do with you guys anymore. Didn't I just say I'm gonna get rid of you? Shit, okay, right. Time to play game of what weakens him. Okay, so he's not... Mm, okay. Probably shouldn't be doing this. Okay, there he resists to that. I like this game, it's like Pokemon. Yeah, sure. I can see that. Turn-based battle system, yeah. But if humans were Pokemon, yeah, sure. Fair comparison. Yeah, this game is very weird to explain out of context. I don't think I could do it, so... Not bad, 
Uh, right. Did it say the two girls were immune? Interesting, okay. Uh okay, right. It's so strong! Don't use dark Okay, we haven't used physical at all. I swear to god, you better shut up. Teddy, I swear to Christ. Right. We haven't used physical at all on him yet. Nice guy has the least health. Okay, alright. Let's do it that way. Alright, it's weak to ice. Good to know. Don't think you've got any ice, do you? No, okay. Right, well in that case you just do physical. That's if it actually works. It might just block. Okay, no, it works. Yosuke's all poisoned. Uh, Come on. Sure. I just keep spamming him with ice moves, I guess. Uh, is that guy weak to fire? Because I feel like we want to keep this guy down, even if, like... Just decent amounts of damage. Yeah, let's keep using fire on this guy, just keep him pinned. That sounds like a smart move. And then we can use a physical one, like... Actually, you know what, maybe we should... Oh, no, we're not doing bad for health, actually. Uh... No, just you do a normal attack on him. Shit. White wall. Uh, lol what? Don't tell me that's all I think it is. What the fuck am I watching? Man, he literally just flexes on him. Okay. Do we actually have anything that's good against... I mean, I think we're going to get poisoned regardless of what we do, right? I promise only the first three dungeons are weird. Well, we're two in. I'm intrigued. Does it get weirder than this? Okay, all right. Damn it. Who do they think they are? Yosuke's all poisoned. Okay. The next one is the weirdest without a doubt. What the fuck do you mean? Okay. Sure, okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, I guess. Oh no. No, it'll be fun. You will see. Oh wait, fuck, did I do that wrong? I thought it was Icy was weak to though. One's tough. Don't use fire, okay? Oh, we had a shield on him, didn't he? I'm a fucking idiot. Ice walls up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I realised that last minute. Does this guy have a thingy wall? We're probably not going to be onto that dungeon for a while yet, then. It might be later this week, actually, because we're going to be streaming a lot more. I can't remember if this one put a firewall up or not. He might have done. Okay, no, he didn't. Right in the dick. Oh, <gasps> very strong. Okay, red wall. So now, we, yeah, okay, now he's immune to fire. So we're back to physical attacks. Dave's no longer poison. That's what I like to see. Right, we're gonna do some healing. This you two are. Mm. You're not as bad as Dab was. Let's keep doing that. I think he's still got the thing on him, right? So we probably want to do this. Okay, there we go. There's one. 
Joe, I can't remember if the enemy that uses the ice wall ability dies. Does that mean, then mean the ice wall or the firewall goes away, or does it still stay for three turns? I, I assume once it's cast, it remains for three turns. No, it doesn't. It stays. Okay, cool. Just check in. Maybe we'll do a heal then. Does it intentionally miss on that? I feel like it must do, right? I feel like it's sort of like... It must be like programmed in to intentionally miss those two. No chance of hitting anyway, got ya, okay. Let's just keep going in on that. We probably should heal though, actually, that being said. Do we have anything that heals the full party? We have media or whatever it's called, right? I think that heals everyone a little bit. Have media. Is it actually any good? Because I remember you telling me it wasn't amazing. I think we have got it on someone, but... There we go. Quite good? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, that'll do. Sure. You're gonna pay, damn it. Okay, let's keep taking this guy out. These guys don't come back, do they? I assume it's literally just like a one time. Give him more. What is that emote? I don't think I've ever seen that emote before. They don't come back, that's good. It's gonna be like the little prince all over again in the last dungeon. Just abandons. Abandons him completely, it feels bad. I think it must have been three rotations by now, right? Surely. Let's only do an, an Aggie. Or Agai. Never mind. That was a waste. We got lucky that missed two of them. Shit. Okay, right. Do we have something that heals everyone on our party all at once? Five's an ally, well we can definitely use that. Do we have anything that fully restores the whole party? We must have something, right? That's not terrible, that's not what I want. Doesn't look like you have one. Oh, okay, got you. I'll make a note of that. We'll buy some of them for future stoof. Right, well, we've got a. We've got the res thing we need, right? We've got the bomb of life. We can do that on you. Good. There's that. Everyone's health is way too low. Yeah, I think we need to get some major There's something that gave us loads and loads of Let's give that to Dow, because if I go down we're fucked basically. We have to do all of that again. Uh, you start healing... Oh, I don't even know here. Maybe media? Sure, let's do that. It's better than nothing, right? Alright, well, I think Yosuke's fucked here. At least that's going to be weaker though. Right, we can deal with you now. 
is good. Okay. This is a very, very fucking bootleg way of dealing with it. But we get in there, chat. Probably should have healed Yosuke there. Yosuke is the only one at immediate threat, so I might give him a... Is that the same item? Oh, I don't know, it's probably not worth it, but fuck it. I want to I want to be safe, Joel. I want to play it safe. Uh, do I even need to do a... We can probably just get away with an Aggie on that. Yeah, okay. That is no longer poison, that's good. We didn't discover any weaknesses with him, did we? Darkness won't work. Light, I assume, doesn't work either. Did we have a light ability? Is there anything that was remotely good? Electricity won't work. So just don't use electricity and we should be good here. Dav Raving, that's it. Well-known character, Dav Raving. Okay, so light and dark and electricity don't use. That's basically all we got to bear in mind. And we should be good here. We will gradually make progress. Right. One, some of you are going to be spamming heals. Some of you are spam abilities. That's how we're going to do this. Uh, seems Skullcracker is probably better than... We'll try the other one out in a minute. You do some healing. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty alright. I'm... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this still quite a lot. It's, um... I don't want to say I'm surprised I'm enjoying this game. Cause it's, I mean, it's the same sort of like combat that I'd... You know, a lot of my favourite games sort of have turn-based combat, but like in terms of like... I've never really played anything like this before. I guess in this genre before. Of RPG. Like this is... This is very JRPG. Like JRPG usually just means like a Final Fantasy or something. This is like... JRPG to the extreme. So... But no, I'm enjoying it. It's been pretty good. Uh oh. Okay. Yosuke, yeah, uh, probably want another heal out of Yosuke. We're doing pretty good for PP, I think. SP, sorry, I keep calling it PP. Haha, PP. No, I think the other ability we had was better. Skullcracker seemed to do a bit more. Yosuke's all poisoned! I could be the healer here, actually. I could just spam out media. That might be good, actually. If I just continue to do that every round, that might be strong. Keep everyone on their toes. Do Sonic Punch with you. We're getting there. Skull crack. I think physical attack's probably best here. Hey, Yosuke. Yeah, Yosuke is still poisoned. That's like the really strong one, right? Or is that the three-person one? That might have been the three-person one. Shit. Oh shit. It charged up. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, my bad. After saying that, I realise that's probably wrong. Yosuke's all poisoned. Is this going to be a char- he, he looked like he was charging up for something. Hmm. God, now? Okay, got you. We're going to take some damage here, but... I, let my guard down. I don't know about everyone else. Yosuke's all poisoned. 
I might have killed us then, maybe. Ooh, okay, that was... Okay. Note to self, don't do that. Yikes, Ben, that sounds fucking, uh... Sounds like a, a sticky, uh, sticky situation you're in there, buddy. Probably should have healed there, actually. That would have been smart. Uh, you have media, I hope. Yeah, okay, we're good. We should be good. Yukiko does seem like a really good party member though. Although I love Yosuke, I think Yosuke is... I think he's probably our most useless party member. At least that's how I'm feeling. In terms of actual like combat use and whatever, he seems a bit underwhelming in comparison. I ditch Yosuke quickly, yeah. Don't get me wrong, he has like his moments, but he's sort of just like a slightly shitter version of us at times. He's good for like the like air abilities, I guess, but Do we have anything that gets rid of I'm amazed that none of those that we've got are uh, beneficial to us at all. You know what? No, we should probably heal again just in case anything happens. Yosuke's all poisoned! Okay, that's the one. This is it. It's over. That's the one. Stay out of my way. What's wrong with acting however I feel like? That's a fucking yikes. Are you all right? Yosuke barely has any health! Uh, I can see that. Let's just do a little bit of a group healing session. Damn it! Who do they yeah. think they are? I'm probably not playing this right at all, but um in terms of approach to fighting, but Spamming out heals tends to be how I play RPGs in this sort of situation. It's like I'd rather waste mana on healing than like physicals a lot of the time. How are we doing? You know what? No, maybe we should get another media in. That might be a good call. Yeah, let's get another media in just to be just to be safe. I think we're doing better for health generally. Um, yeah, we're probably good to start. To be fair, just normal abilities seem to do decent a decent amount of damage. Maybe we. We might get away with just being able to do them, you know. I think for some people, probably, that might be better, actually. But... It varies. Yeah, let's just do normal. Hog stamina, that seems to do more or less the same. Uh, let's get another media in, maybe. Got three people that are a little bit under. Not massively, but just a little bit. I know you all thought I was weird. Deep down, you don't accept me at all. No matter what, I won't lose. Mm, give me more. 
one, I think. I don't know, Joel. There's always there's always room for me to beans it. Yeah, I should probably do it that one. Then we'll get Yosuke to do the same if he's not completely fucked. Let's do a skull crack with you. Let's just have a little bit of general healing. Gonna crit now, which sucks. Yeah, no, I bet. As long as it doesn't fucking one shot me, I think I can live with it, to be honest, but we shall see. Does Sonic Punch do well? He did like 53 without it. That just missed, never mind. We will never know. To be fair, I think their basic attacks are basically just... Okay, no, that was a little bit worse. Okay, yeah, let's keep playing the, the healing game with Dav. Just to be on the safe side, especially if he can crit. We're getting there, we might as well just keep doing what I'm doing. 75 seemed better though, actually. We're almost there. There we go. GG. We did the do, we beat the boss. We did the dungan. Now we get supposedly the best character in the game in our party, which is great. First attempt again. Oh, damn it. Kanji -kun. Wait, Yukiko, something's wrong. It's still coming at us. Kanji is still rejecting it. Oh, I can't blame him with this many witnesses. Such a passionate approach. What? I think that you three would make wonderful boyfriends. Excuse me? Stop it! You got it all wrong! Enough! Stop! What the hell are you blabbering about? I don't care who wrote someone! Anyone, please, accept me! Stop it! Accept me for who I am! Ooh, ooh, indeed, Ben. Hurry up and merge so we can have no more Manga TOS moments. Whoa, whoa! I really don't swing that way! I mean, the next dungeon's meant to be weirder, right? I said stop it! I can't believe something like this is inside me. Kanji, you're... Yeah, I know. I've known all this time I had something like you. It ain't a matter of guys or chicks. I'm just scared shitless of being rejected. I'm a total pansy who tries to make everyone hate me. Make it sound like you've got it all figured out. Come on, get up. Anyone who looks like me, I know they ain't so weak that they can't take a punch. I already know or what you're me. Did we just get a little bit of an upshot of the loincloth there? That would be Monka TOS. Dave, why are you pushing everyone away? You're I know, me. right? How dare I? I'm you, damn it. <gasps> oh my god, he's actually looks fucking cool. That's a, that's a really cool persona. Holy shit. 
Yeah, we're definitely using Kanjo on our in our party. I think I'm although I like Shit. Ooh, feels bad. Although I think I I like Chia the least as a character. He seems better than Yosuke in actual combat, so I yeah, I think for now we'll swap out Yosuke with uh the kanji, but uh, I don't know, things might change. Are you okay? The fuck are we in June as plus? It's, uh, it's nothing. It's torture, that's what it is, man. Oh. <laughs> I feel great. It's like my mind's all cleared up. Hey, about what just happened. It's a dream. Could we completely just gaslight him and say, yes, it was all a dream. He fell asleep in Junez. Yeah, you better. We'll explain everything later. You need to take a rest now. We'll be waiting for you at school. School? Sure, if I ever feel like going. I'll take this guy home. If anyone asks, I'll just say I found him somewhere like this. Junes? Do you mean Junez? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Remember that Kanji Tatsumi guy I told you about? You know, the one who went nuts on that news special. His family's shot called in to report him missing. So now he's been found. I thought I'd let you know since you go to the same high school. Yeah. He doesn't even know. One other thing. Some people have seen you around that textile shop lately, I hear. It's not the kind of shop students normally visit. Just what kind of business do you have there? A friend? Oh, that oh yeah. Me. That's right. Her family's in buys their stuff wholesale. Yeah, with I forgot. Um, the Jima hates the. He doesn't hate the concept, but he wants us to work hard, right? As opposed to just fuck about with friends. I'm pretty sure. I remember. I don't know if that actually had any effect or anything, but. Fine. Just don't get yourself in over your head. Okay? You're right. Okay. Has no effect. Yeah, yeah, no, I just remember from one of the other things. Yes, we're fighting again. Oh, well, dungeon out of the way. Good meme. Dave, stop slacking what I made. Slacking's all I've got, man. Got nothing left. There we go, we've done the, we've done the dungeon. We're not even an hour in yet. We've done the dungeon. Oh. Okay, so we got an invite to go. Now we just do social sh shit, basically, right? Don't forget the fox quest. What was the fox quest, Joel? Oh, it's the doggo. That's right. Okay, let's go do the dog meme. Yeah, let's go find Bork. Bork Simpson. Where he at? It's gonna get to the point where the fox is the person we've spoken to the most. I can already sense it. Right, let's keep looking. So the dog itself could just be anywhere, right? It's not guaranteed to be guaranteed to be in the same location every time. It's like 
in a fixed place each like instance of you finding it so like one time it was in the park or wherever we found it so now it will just be like here there we go okay here sing let's sing at the, the dog everyone let's let's play song two i've got my head check this oh fuck it matters i read that way too late Did I actually get it right through memeing? Uh, did I do a good job? You chose the wrong one. Fuck. I didn't realise that had a fucking thing. Oh well. Yeah, no, I assume that, that would have been what I would have gone for if I realised it mattered. That's annoying. Oh well. Oh well. Right, what could we do then? Wow, David, I know, I did a bad. Right. So we have... There's a Marie quest over here, right? Or we could do a, a music one, we could do a... We haven't really done sports one, like, the sports one at all. Is a sports guy in the corridor? We could do that. Hey, here he is, alright. Oh, we have Titan as well. Perfect. Hey, we cook the ball. Football. You see that ludicrous display last night? Offside, ref. Great form. Welcome. Delivery for me. Oh yeah, we got the we got the budget Adidas shoes. Thank you. Good meme. I assume we can whip them. Yay. No. Yay. Maybe. Oh yeah, Che and wear the shoes. I'm a smart. I'm not smart. Joel's smart. I <laughs> can't believe I didn't make that fucking connection, Jesus Dave. Okay. Um, I have a question. Do the, um... Dave, you're slacking again? I'm always fucking slacking. Um, what was I gonna ask? Joel, do the actual... So, I don't know what other weapons you can get for people. So, like, for example, we've still only got, like, a, a golf club, for example, and a, a, a spanner and shit. Does the actual model change every time? Or is it going to be like a fixed model for like a fixed item throughout the whole game for each person? I'd assume they'd change up the model stuff. They do change sometimes because I don't think Yosuke's wrench is changed, but you know, a wrench, a spanner, it's basically the same. Well, it's in that, in that tool category, isn't it? Not the same model, okay. Hey Velvet, how you doing? We I don't know how long you've been about, but we literally just did the boss, the um the kanji boss. I'm doing well, I'm doing pretty good. Hope you're doing well yourself. I just finished playing this, as in you finished playing the the, the dungeon or the whole game? If it's the whole game. You've really put me to shame. <laughs> um, okay, right, books. We we can read, kind of. Oh no, not the whole game. I was gonna say that's that's gonna be quite the commitment between when did I last play this on stream? Thursday? Yeah, in the last four days finishing the whole game. That would have been impressive. I think I'm at June oh okay, got ya, got ya. Right, 
got some got some more understanding. That's good. Hold in for time. We're gonna go for like another hour. Waiting for Kanji to recover. That's fine by me. It's raining, so you know what it's time for. Into the TV to do some quests and also do some scooter related stuff. Scooter related stuff? Anyway, because it's raining. Actually, wait, no, before we do that, what are my other options? Can we go to the velvet room? Okay, boss. Let's do that. Oh, no, I know, right? Have you got a scooter yet? We do not know. Velvet room time. We're about to speak to Gru. Or is it Marie? Oh no, is it? Are we gonna get a... Uh... What the fuck? What was it she broke for us? Did she write us a poem last time or something like that? Listen to my voice, my shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. These could be Evanescence lyrics, couldn't I they? The little mermaid, Never mind. Unable to return, the little mermaid. Definitely not Evanescence. I mean, fair enough, it's a way of expressing herself, right? It's a little bit edgy, sure, but it's just a phase, you know? That's what that's what they will say, right? Not a phase. I said no. It did start like an evanescent song though. She could be the next T.S. Eliot. She could, yeah. This this seems really disorientating to look at for me. I don't know why. It just I'm I'm dyslexic, so that just hurts my eyes to look at. Was that the reason we came here, Joel, or is there another reason? That was the reason for it. Okay. Well, that will be it. Goodbye. This is that was all. Came to read your edgy poetry, and now I will leave. Now we will divulge in this um, three thousand yen soup thing. Have you noticed it? It looked like the limo is breathing. Really? I hadn't noticed that, you know. I realised it was a limo, of course, but... I had I had no idea. I, I'm going to have to have a look at that on the... I don't think we can do it now, actually. But next time we're in the velvet room, I'll have a look. What do you... Is it just sort of like it's like... Does it just sort of look like, look like, like it's like expanding... Who's going up and down? I see, I see. Well, it's some weird dimensional limo. It's a bit like the TARDIS, isn't it? I guess not everyone knows. What... Ben, you know what the TARDIS is, right? I don't know how popular Doctor Who is over in the States, generally. I know some people watch it, but I don't know how... It must be... People must know what the TARDIS is, right? There's an elevator, yeah, and then... It's all sort of things. I, I can't remember what people told me it was in 5. 
Scott, who is very popular here, but it's usually the Matt Smith stuff, right? It's uh, it's a prison. That's it. That's it. Um, I'd say Matt Smith Doctor Who is probably the popular one abroad, though, right? Because everyone had a weird thing for Matt Smith. Um, I don't. I, it's not a terrible watch, Velvet. It depends on where you tune in. I think. Because you have the weird instance, you have weird cases where the act is kind of poor, but the writing's good, at least in my opinion. Um, you have instances where the act is really good and the writing's just terrible. You have Tenant, which everyone hates on because it's the most popular one, but I personally think the David Tennant one's up there for me. And then you have the new one, which most people hate, but Bradley Walsh is alright in it, and that's, that's, you know, that's fine. It's more David Tennant. I guess he's the more iconic one. I always assumed that Matt Smith would translate better in the US though, no? Maybe not. I agree, Joel. I think Capaldi's my favourite Doctor. I like Tennant more because it's a better well-rounded thing of like, the writing's pretty good and David Tennant's quite good. Yeah, the newest Doctor was the female Doctor Velvet. It's um... I don't think she's the worst actress in the world. I just think the writing is a little bit piss poor at times, which sort of doesn't do her much justice. Is my sort of biggest complaint about the new Doctor Who. I, I don't hate her completely, and her acting is fine. But yeah, Capaldi is definitely my favourite. Tennant's probably my second. I sort of gave up on the story. I think me and I don't know how much more Joel watched of the first series with Jody playing the Doctor, but I stopped watching it when they introduced this weird alien that started eating the ship parts. That was the episode that changed my mind. I was like, nope, I'm not watching anymore. You seen all of it? Oh, okay. Well, even the did they do another season or a series of it? I thought they only did the one series. I think maybe they did only do the one series. I can't. I actually can't remember. I think that was the fifth episode in though, and I stopped after that, or the fourth episode. It was one of the two. Hey, big bro. Hang on. Did we just get a question? Why do people die? The show ended at Capaldi for me. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. I don't. Honestly, I don't like a lot of the Capaldi episodes that I saw. I didn't see every episode, but I thought, generally speaking, he was a really good Doctor, though. Like, him as an actor was really good. Yeah, so the first of the reboot Doctor was um, Mr. Eccleston, yeah. He was... He wasn't bad... I rate him about. I don't. I don't get the hype behind Matt Smith. I'm gonna be honest. I think he's my least favorite Doctor, which is controversial. Me, actually, probably tied with Jodie actually. But I don't. I don't see the hype for Matt Smith. But the thing with the Matt Smith one, though, I felt like the writing was okay. I didn't see every episode of the Matt Smith one, I've got to be honest, but it seemed decent writing-wise. To be honest with you, I'm not really that big of a Doctor Who fan. It's just in the UK, it's sort of like... It's something hey, to, to watch a lot of the time. Like, it's one of the few things on BBC for a while that was kind of worth watching. Maggie Smith should be the next Doctor, could you imagine? What if they actually hired the guy that played Filch? Why do people die? That, there's the quote again. Oh, okay, I didn't read that. My expressions do, though. I think I, I, I probably did read that aloud, but I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, get Maggie Smith to play the next Doctor. Okay, who do you, in chat, who do you guys think would be a good Doctor? So we got Maggie Smith. Do we have anyone any other takers? The good doctors.
<laughs> Big bro is mum in hell. Yeah, that's kind of what she said. Fan cast are always terrible. I guess that's true. I just don't know who would fit it though. Like who would be a good doctor. Because they're always like the obvious ones. I feel like a lot of people would say shit like... I don't know. I feel like he's overused for suggestions. But I think Aegis Elba would probably be thrown into the mix as a potential doctor. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if that's like a big thing somewhere. Well, it's the same with Bond, right, Joel? It's like Bond's... That, that whole argument's thrown around constantly at who should be the next Bond. It's kind of the same, isn't it? That's fair enough, Velvet. Yeah, it's... It's, it's, I don't know, it's re it's a really abstract show, I think. But, you know, it, at the same time, it's got this massive sort of, like, mainstream media attention. I'm always amazed by. Oh, I can imagine Joel being the Doctor. Joel, can I be your fucking useless robot that follows you around? It just fucking, it's just terrible. Can that be a thing? Cheers. Can I just be a shit canine? Oh no, a lot of the Bond films haven't aged, aged well at all. I think Piers Brosnan and Bron uh, Bond and Onwards are still okay. But everything before Piers Brosnan's a bit shit now. Yeah, you can, Dave. Nice, thank you, Joel. I'll literally just be a terrible C3PO. I'll just mistranslate for you, man. It's all good. Really big in America. I'm surprised by that. I assumed it might have got some attention through, like, Netflix or something, but I guess, yeah, I, I, it seems like the sort of... It's like Downton Abbey, I'd imagine, right? It's the sort of shit that, for some reason, the US just adores, just out of nowhere. It's like Downton Abbey or, like... um, There must be other things as well, I'm trying to think. <gasps> oh my god, the plot, the plot thickens. I think Sean Connery is like a him and Roger Moore are iconic Bonds Velvet, but I don't think their films are very good, as you say. They're sort of like some of the other picks you might have for like a Bond that's like, ah, uh, yeah. When you think of James Bonds, you might think Roger Moore or Sean Connery, but yeah, it's apart from that, it's like go talk. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go do we'll go do the doggo mission. Did I not do that yesterday? Did I pick that? I see, got you. Where haven't we looked? We haven't looked... We haven't looked at the Junez store. I don't know if it would be there though. It's probably going to be at the Dojima residence place, isn't it? He goes to the shopping district again? Never mind. Did Kingsman do well in the States? I suppose it has some big, like, American actors in it. Some, not loads, but it's got some. You've got, like, Mark Hamill, you've got Samuel L. Jackson, you know, you've got some big names in there. I see, okay. Where is Bork? I'm looking for a Bork. Orc pullers. I was about to say something really dark. I was like, I hope I don't come up here and it's been hit by a car, but I didn't want to down the mood. But now I've said it anyway, so <laughs> maybe I should stop talking. Maybe. Maybe, Joel. First one was really good. By flood plane, actually. Got you, got you. Oh, yeah, 100% velvet. 100%. I think that that's partly the reason why people 
actually like Gavin and Stacey as the whole Welsh thing. Like, I, I don't know. I know I'm aware that not everyone likes that show, but I like it personally, not for the Welsh stuff, but I know there are people out there that love it for the whole, like, oh, they're talking in the Welsh accent. Look at that. Nessa. And that's it. There, there goes my uh, one and only Gavin and Stacey quote. That's a show that probably isn't in the US at all, Ben. So I'm I'm sorry for bringing up things that probably aren't so relevant. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. Bork. Where art thou, Bork? <laughs> He's not here. Is he in Junez? He's probably hiding in fucking Junez trying to buy a TV. Where that boy? Have you gone fishing yet? You know what? We've read the whole fishing book, Velvet, but I don't think we've actually been fishing yet. You need a fishing rod. That's true. We also haven't bought a fishing rod. Uh, okay, well, it's not there. Maybe it's just not here when it's raining, Joel. Fishing minigame's tricky. And if, oh my god, I... Is it tricky on controller? Because that's going to mean it's infinitely even more tricky on mouse and keyboard, which I'm worried about. Ah, shit. Okay. That's going to be a challenge. Fuck. WSD time, boys. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Right, yeah. I'm going to assume it's because it's raining that we can't find Bork. This box, he's dressed up as one of the students and he's hiding. Uh, right, let's go eat that fucking soup or whatever the fuck it was. Consume soup. Should we save? It's probably, I don't even know if it's worth a save, but why not? Treat myself. I is always a good idea on rainy days too. She's the sem senpai woman that triggered me at the beginning of the stream, I think, yeah. I say woman, eight year old. Who's Ayer again then? I'm I'm terrible with names. <laughs> oh no, I am However many hours in there. How many hours into this game are we? We're 23 hours in apparently. And I still don't know all the names. That's good. Oh, that is the beef bowl place? Okay, never mind. Fuck me. Okay, sorry. Don't worry. Ignore me. I'm being a silly. Ugh. I can't believe we've nearly played this for 24 hours, though. It doesn't feel like it. The Joel it probably has, because he had to fucking sit here and watch me struggle. I'm really enjoying this, though. As I, as I was saying earlier, I didn't think I'd like this game. Going into it, really. I, I thought the combat I'd probably like. I don't know about the rest of it, but I'm genuinely enjoying it. So I'm really happy that a Joel convinced me to, to play a Persona. And be that I streamed it. So yeah. You're 19. See what I mean, Velvet? You are destroying it compared to me. You're doing infinitely better. <laughs> hey, we're getting some big stat upgrades, man. Yeah, I know, right? Welcome back. Hey, don't jamer. Hey. Ah. Hey, we can do some more dad jamer. Hmm. Uh oh. Damn, he's observe his his uh, little eyes in the sky of observant. Hmm. 
Beef gives you more courage. Oh my. Oh my. As in you haven't actually eaten beef? He's the uncle, I want to say. Yeah. For some reason, that wasn't immediately clear to me at the beginning of the game. I just thought we were a transfer student and he happened to be taking us in. But no, apparently we are related. I think it must have said it. I just missed it because I'm, I'm a Papega. That's, that's just reality of it. But for a while, I thought we were just in no way related to Nanako and Dejima. I'm an observant boy. Aww. Poor Nanako. Man. I mean, yeah, I, I as I probably did just miss the dialogue to be honest, Velvet is I just, I, I think he said something along the lines of, you're lucky that we took you in, like, a couple of days in, which for some reason implanted this thing in my head where I was thinking, okay, so we're just some weird transfer student from the city that's in no way related, we're just, we're just living with you, because why not? But no, we, we are related. Yeah, it's probably more down to me just not either forgetting it quite quickly, which is also very, you know, very likely. Or I just sort of, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just didn't get it. Anyway, I don't really want to fuck this up, so... I don't really want to... Mm, why not play with her? I feel like that's too... Not good with kids. Mm. Mm. Oh no. Getting some Mumjima backstory. <laughs> Poor Nanako though. Just to sit there all alone watching quiz shows. I mean, she'll be smart. Yeah, at like a pub quiz, sure, but Evie's her like uh, was her main friend at that point, you know. Got to feel bad for the kid. I'm a bit scared to fuck this, I'm gonna be honest. Um hmm. Okay, I think we got it. I think we did it. And going to the local mall is the highlight of our life. Yeah, it seems like there's sheltered children and then and then there's Nanako. It's like geez, fair enough. It's Japan though. I love how that's the card I can play if something doesn't ultimately make sense. It's Japan. You know. It's the way it is. Did we actually... Oh, we actually did it. Nice. Okay, I thought we'd been that. But no, I think we did it good. Oh. Sorry. She would die first in a zombie apocalypse. Wow, well, Velvet. Poor Nanako. All she wants to do is sing a Junez song, but no. 
Zombies are going to ruin that. On a really, really weird side note, Joel, I'm aware you're... I don't know how into Crus uh, Crusader Kings you are, but there's a new one out today, isn't there? The way you played 2 for a bit, at least. Have you got any kind of hype with Crusader Kings 3, or just sort of leaving it for a bit? Yeah, I mean, it's a fair point, right? If there's not a whole bunch to do, then I guess a highlight could be just going... You know, somewhere like that, I guess. I don't care about Paradox games anymore, anyway. that's fair enough. And we did only just uh, manage to fit in saving Kanji, didn't we, Jesus? Like, it's we almost beans that. Ted, oh. Ted. Justice for Ted. <laughs> Cool. Right, I feel... Yeah, we probably go back to the beef place. Oh no, we should do dog mission. If he, uh, he probably won't appear again, will he? No, no justice. Okay, never mind. The only Paradox game, I'm going to be honest, where I feel like I'm actually okay at it is Prison Architect. It's not even a multiplayer game. I tried to play Hoi with Johnny and Joel once, and I think they were struggling, but they at least knew the basics. I didn't have any fucking clue what I was doing. Y you know, <laughs> okay, you know, you know, um, you know, like, let's say there's like two brothers playing Sonic or something, right? One of the big brothers playing as Sonic and the little brothers playing as Tails. Tails doesn't really matter. I felt like I was playing as Tails for that whole game, so I just had no fucking clue. And what I was doing clearly just didn't mean anything else to what the fuck was going on. It was just, oh, I suck so bad at Hoi 4. But then I own Crusader Kings 2, I own Europa 4. I own a bunch of their games, I've just never played them. But they all seem quite scary to sort of get into to begin with. Maybe, Ben, maybe. I don't know, I've, I've also got to be in a mood to play a Paradox game, I think. There was a time when I considered it, but I think at the moment I'm willing to leave it on a bit of a hiatus, but... Yes, I guess Civ, Civ's a good comparison. Civ's probably a bit easier than, like, uh, Hearts of Iron 4 or Europa or, um, Crusader Kings. But yeah, I'd, I'd say, yeah, they're kind of in that Civ kind of bracket of games, yeah, that's a, that's a good call. Cool. That being said, I suck at Civ as well, and I've played that for way too long. I'm just bad at games. That's why I play them. Is that a, is that a bike down there? Can we can we nick that bike? No. Yeah. Fair play, Joel. I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't think um I don't think we can do anything with. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry, I, I don't think we can do anything with the doggo while it's raining. I think it's put, it's more likely to be because it's the three days of rain, right? They're like event days where you... Sort of the important shit's going down, so it's... It sort of makes sense to sort of have the side mission stuff not be active. Did something unethical happen to Paradox? I can't remember, actually. Blizzard have done a lot of unethical things in the last year. 
they're probably the only big company I can really think of that have been a bit questionable. I know, right, rice, that is, oh, too much rice, though. Konami are mainly known for publishing now, I want to say. I don't think they do as much as they used to. They used to do sort of Metal Gear and stuff like that, right? And now the weather. Oh, but hang on. Into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Oh, of course, they did Silent Hill, didn't they? My bad, yeah. How do you say the second one? Sorry, Soki Soku Den? So we could, I, I don't know how you say that. I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but. So we could then. I don't even know, lol, fair enough. Is it like a fighting game or something? So we could then... Okay, it's a JRPG. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, no, I just completely forgot they did Silent Hill. But yeah, I, I actually haven't played Silent Hill, that being said. I haven't played any of them. But, um, Metal Gear, I mean, that's got, you know, that's pretty, uh, it's got quite the reputation. With 108 recruit, recruit, I can speak English. Recruitable characters, really. That is pretty good, to be fair. Oh, no, it's the Fog TM, it's back. Not the fog TM. Okay, well we did that, that's good. Uh oh. Most of them are play uh, playable party members, basically build your own army, political war story, I see, okay. I'll look that up actually, I've never heard of that before. I see, it, it seems like the sort of thing that probably didn't do so great outside of Japan, I could, I could just be making assumptions there. But from the way it's described in the name, not that the name always means it won't do well, but it sounds like the sort of thing that might not have done quite as well as like a, a Metal Gear or a Silent Hill. Do the home shopping, by the way. Oh, I think I fucked it, Joe. I'm sorry. Or have I? Oh no, we're good. Okay. I thought I'd been sitting there. Oh, here he is. Look at him. There he is. Obligatory sour plus indeed. Over a hundred. Oh shit, really? It initially wasn't that successful. I assume it's the sort of thing that built like a cult following like after it came out. Okay. How do you say it? Jinji? Fundoshi. Jinji Fundoshi? Welcome to Dave Butcher's Pronunciation 101. 
I'd love to guest appear on this guy's shit. I know, right? I this guy already. He seems like a good geezer. Look at him. You can buy a trout. Buy my fucking fish. Well, it's literally just him and Igor, right? From what you've told me, Joel. Or Igor, or however, however the fuck you say his name. Pretty much, yeah. What do you suggest here, Joel? Yeah, I know, right, Velvet? It seems a little bit weird buying fish from a... from a TV shopping channel. I assume the... the... top one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Keep forgetting they've got flick phones. 2008. What's Gags, by the way? I've only just noticed that there's a magazine called Gags down there. I don't really want to know what that is. <laughs> You'll see it again when um when your boy moves. Down here. It's porn? Okay, fine. We're just accepting it's porn. Um, Dav. <laughs> um, you know what? Maybe not. I'm not going to go there. Right. There, see? Preton... Does it say Preton Porter? How you doing? Oh, poor Nanako, can't leave. Go out until evening. Oh yeah, of course we've got to do it. Actually, let's save first. I don't think we've done that. Oh, it's the garden too. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm, I'm being silly. Bork. You're not the bork we need, though. You're... Else it dies. Oh. We'll do that in the... We can do it in the evening, right? Oh, it changes from place to place though, right? I, 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 censorship is such a weird thing, generally, Velvet, that it's like... I don't know. It, it, yeah, just censorship, just, it, it, it varies from place to place. It's like, um... Not that it's to do with, like... It's not a sex thing, what I'm about to say. <laughs> it was weird that I had to clarify that. But, um... I believe, I think in World of Warcraft, in China or something, you're not allowed to show skeletons or something like that. That's like a rule, you're not allowed to show skeletons in games. So I think there's some, like, weird changes they had to make to, like, some enemies in WoW, just to allow, like, you know, them to prevent censorship and stuff. I don't know, censorship's a weird one, as I say, it varies from place to place. Weird. Um, right, what the fuck are we doing? We're looking for Bork, aren't we? Bork Simpson. Oh, it's Cheya and Marie. Bork. Where he at? Joe, I think he might have just fucked off, mate. I can't see him. This is a flood plane. Yeah, no, I bet them. What here is he? I thought I saw something over there, but I think it must have been just the background. 
There was a Bork, I think. That's a cat, mate. Unless I'm missing... Oh, yeah, no, I'm being stupid. Don't worry, Joel. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm being silly. Hello. Oh. I know, right? What a good Bork. Um, sorry, I'll read chat again now. Yeah, Monsieur Trump will be doing that. Yeah, I was actually that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Like the whole Winnie the Pooh thing in Kingdom Hearts in China. I'm amazed that that actually passed senses to begin with, Velvet. Yeah, it's always Shiba or, um, Akita, yeah. They're very, very sort of Japanese-y dogs, aren't they? Like, it's like the Corgi, or like the Bulldogs affiliate with, affiliated with us, sort of thing. Kind of. I don't know if that is much, as much the case. Bulldogs are banned now, right? That being said, I know they're like kind of iconic, but like they're not really a thing anymore. What a chat message, Dave? When are you becoming Supreme Overlord? Um, when I no, you know what? It's not worth the effort. I just won't. I just won't. Then it's not worth my time. It's an anime where the Main characters were dogs? Or were all the characters were dogs? Do I mean Pitbull? No, I'm pretty sure I mean Bulldog. Do you always hear about like the British Bulldog sort of thing? That for me at least always seemed pretty iconic as like a dog. Like the UK. Maybe a... Mm, I don't really want to say Pug, but I feel like Pug might fall under that category now as well, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see Staffies pretty often. Got yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Joel, do you, or Velvet, do you guys have any recommendations for what I should do today? Because, I mean, we have a lot of options. Cheo was out there. Yosuke's here. Our boy's here. There are a lot of people I can go talk to today. It doesn't really seem like there's a strict regime. Is there anything that sort of furthers like the story along? I guess is probably more what I'm asking. I guess all of it does in the end, but is it just sort of decide whatever? Eh, okay. Who's your? That's a good point. Uh, Yosuke's doing all right. Yukigo mm, could be better. Margaret doesn't really have anything. Marie doesn't really have much either. We could do something. If we can find Yukiko, we could speak to Yukiko for a bit. I haven't started Margaret's yet. I think we did it. I think Joel managed to sync up the timing for that for me, but I've only spoken to her once, really. Where would you, uh, Yukigo be? I'm trying to think. Margaret's isn't really a link. Have you taken any jobs yet? We, yeah, we took the date. Oh, that's true. We could do a job, actually. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, we've got the, um, we got the job at the daycare. That's something we could do. You just view specific... Oh, okay, got yeah. How do we activate the whole job thing? I can't remember. Do we go here? And then be like, lol, I wanna... Oh, is it at the bus stop? It's at the bus stop, isn't it? It might be in Courage or something, Velvet. I'm not too sure. Knowledge, maybe?
We could just go work at the uh, thing for today. Oh, never mind. Never mind, we cannot work today. Right, what we'll do... How many did Che have? Is it also three? Yeah. The hospital social link is a bit creepy. Oh no. I'm looking forward to it, I guess. Question mark? It's a weird one. Right, well, we're just gonna... Marie was by far one of the lower ones. Should we just... Huh? Sure, let's just go with let's Marie. Go. Let's do it. Cool, let's do that. Let's do that. Now we're done for time. Probably another 20 minutes or so, then we'll wrap it up. Don't know how many more days that'll be, but... Wow, what a... Hmm. There's nothing to do. Play around. Prioritize memory. Okay. I see. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. We should probably get Marie up then a little bit. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm, I'm, I might have picked the wrong option, guys. Oh really, Joel? Interesting. Is she the only one that applies to, out of curiosity, or is... I assume she would be, but... Fair enough, Ben. Thanks for hanging around though, dude. Much appreciated. Have a good day, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to you again soon, m my boy. I don't know why, I... I yeah. I've just turned into Porky Pig within like the last hour and is stuttering constantly. Blee blee blee, that's all folks. green and red doing here. Wow, what names, man. <laughs> what, have like the Looney Tunes music play? Like the... That's all, folks. Perfect. Just, I'm gonna... <laughs> we'll cut that out. We'll put that as the final clip for the stream and that'll be it. That's how we end them all. Just try not to get sued. I could do it as like a, a cockney. That's all folks, isn't it? That's definitely, I don't know. I don't even know what that was. Nope. 
the fact they're not weirded out by this person's like weird philosophy of uh I don't know. Just sort of like how you should be presented in regarding wearing clothes. It's Yep, this person's completely fine. I only just noticed there's a padlock around their neck, that's that's interesting. Um Space Jam is an awesome movie, changed my mind. Um, it's alright. Sure, it's okay. And referring to people as humans, yeah, no, exactly. Oh, wait, we were about to be dragged into a uh, clothes shopping, oh no. Probably didn't pick any of the right options there, but oh well. Never mind. I think out of all of those films, though, like the Space Jam, I think Who Framed Roger Rabbit is still probably my favourite one. I think Space Jam and the other Looney Tunes one they did was okay, but yeah, I think Who Framed Roger Rabbit was pretty good considering. That's green, you know. That's definitely a Dave observation. Yes, you like green. That is green, you know. Boom. I'm. I don't know. I. I did. I watched that film as a kid. Lindy Chin's back in action. I think I probably like it a little bit more than Space Jam. I know that's blasphemy. And that's a very unpopular opinion. But I watched that when I was quite young. I sort of have like some nice memories about that film. It is blasphemy. I know. I know. I'm gonna do the Dave option. Yeah, I mean Marie agrees. That's all that matters in this instance, I suppose. I didn't hate Steve Martin as the weird guy though, I thought it worked. Hey. That's an eye catching colour. These are two yeah, this is two Dave. We're gonna I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering this social link. It is eye catchingly red. Red uh my voice. Oh jeez, Rick. I don't know what's happening to my voice, and I'm just dying. I'm either stuttering or I'm just slowly... slowly suffering. Steve Martin was in some good films in that era though, he was in like the first Pink Panther, that one was pretty good. He was in um... Uh, what, what the fuck was that? Uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels he was in, that was pretty good. Hey. I assume it would be velvet, yeah, it's and the orange is a pretty chill colour. It's not green, is all she has to say about it. Oh, he was in Planes, Trains and Automobiles, wasn't he? Yeah. I forgot he was in that. To be fair, I haven't seen that film in years.
Why? Huh? Really? Damn, she really doesn't get the basics about humans, does she, Jesus? Hmm. John Candy, yeah, John Candy's pretty good. I'm amazed, Joel, when you told me that in the spin-off game she goes on about, like, eating meat constantly. Or steak, I should probably say. That they didn't do a whole thing with Kung Fu for Chea. Because it seems something they could have incorporated more into, like, conversation and shit that wasn't just weirdly about food. I don't know. It seems like a weird one to me that they chose to go with that as her, her character direction. I don't get it. Hey. Okay. Cool, alright, we're getting there. That was a longer social link thing than a lot of them have been. See ya. Is a mukbang, that's the thing where, like, is it, like, that's the thing that those streamers did for a while, right? Where they just ate on stream and they were talking about it. Is that, is that, was that, I can't remember what a mukbang is, I'll be honest. It's something to do with social eating, right? I seem to vaguely remember that, but that's about all I know about it. I see, okay, that's, a, I guess that's justified, Joel. Filming yourself cooking and eating while chatting. Okay, got ya. Okay, right, we still can't explain what happened to Mumsy. I see, right. I've never, I've never heard of that person, but... As I say, I only heard about it being like a friend. I didn't really like look into it much myself. I was just aware it was a thing for a little bit. Keep it that way, Dave. Got it. I shall in that case. We shall read book. Absorb some knowledge. Not watch mukbang videos and dumb. Easy peasy. Oh, here we go. This the induction. One. The cat's come in. Hello. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Best character. I know, Joel. Give me a minute. My cat is. That is interrupting uh, Angie moments. Listen, I've got 10 more minutes to stream. Can it wait? I'll feed you in a bit, yeah? Okay. Where'd the manners come from? Well, um, 
I didn't know you guys were my senpai. No, I'm done. I'm done. No. No. We're ending the stream on me getting tilted as well. No. Go, oh, come on, man. It's... <laughs> God damn it. Thanks a bunch. I know, Joel, I know. Hopefully he doesn't say it too much. It's all I'm no, gonna say. I don't really remember what happened. At least he's got proper voice acting apart from Senpai. Some things they'd like you to tell us about. First off, who was that boy you met with? Central party member question mark? I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. As the boy TM. That's true. I, you know what? I think I just got... The thing is, the reason why I'm more annoyed at the girl that only says Sensei is because that's her only bit of voice work that I did for her. Where, I don't know, I can respect it a bit more if there is a little bit more to it regarding voice acting. From school with them. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. Ah. I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so... You know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh... I started thinking... What if... I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that. So I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. Well, I'm fine now. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, guys are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. And that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. That's a very... That's, that's... Wow, okay, sure. The second I say Nothing wrong with like that. that. People look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow. I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Uh, don't don't call a, me a good kid. I can't believe he's... <laughs> It's so weird that she's calling him a kid. You're a big guy. You can take it. And that's so weird. I don't know why. Yeah, that is a bit of a weird move. I mean, I don't know. I think it's still fine. I don't see any problems with the way they've done this. But yeah. A man's just one. I know, right? Just let him sew.
Let him so indeed. Hey, Felicia's uh, slug, by the way. How you doing, man? Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? Sorry, fallacious slug, sorry. My, uh, colour of your text is not, not coming through particularly well on my monitor, I do apologise. You know, after you chased us away and said you were gonna take us down. Huh? Uh, I went home. It did, yeah, I can see what you mean though, Velvet. It's like it jumped from one thing to another. I was gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I, mean, I don't know if anyone actually came. Uh, other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. A dark entrance. Could it have been a TV? Went to watch someone play Persona and ended up here for it. Oh, nice. Well, hopefully... Huh? Well, sad, well actually, Not sadly, we're probably going to be wrapping up shortly. So. But um, we made some cool progress today. We... We beat uh, Kanjay's dungeon, which has been pretty cool. Yeah, no, I, I, I've never played a Persona game before, so I'm I'm really enjoying this. It's sort of like my uh, why do you ask? My first time playing one. It's been really good. Dave said none of that, Velvet. None of that. <laughs> oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Well, I know what you mean, though, Velvet, about the whole like. Kanji's 15, but he definitely sounds about 28. It's 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 a weird, weird comparison. Sorry, contrast. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you, and they looked at me like I was crazy. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Something like that. Anything I can do to help? If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Sure. Let's get Thank him in. You, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. Hey. I'll do my best. We got a birdie. Good stuff. Okay, well, hopefully we're about to come up to a save point. I think I will wrap up now. I don't think we have enough time to do another day. I like these caught at the end though. Yeah, no, it's uh, uh, sorry that you do. I love my came by job. just at the end. But we're playing a lot of Persona this week, so I think we're streaming again uh tomorrow and for the next couple of days. So hopefully if you do want to watch someone play some Persona, I should be live this sort of time tomorrow, so stay tuned. But anyway, thank you for the follow as well. Uh Fallacious Slug. I keep saying Fallacious. Fallacious Slug. How do you say that? Fallacious? I think it is fallacious and now being silly. Well, if we're gonna welcome aboard a new member, should we take him to our special headquarters? We're still calling it that. I'm also very tired. As a heads up, it's like midnight here, so apologies. I've not got my big brain on. Junez, I know, right, Joel? Junez, oh, time. That? Come on, let's go. A slug guilty of fallacy. <laughs> Man, you eat a lot. Were you listening to what we were saying? Huh? Well, sure, I was, I was listening. Ah, close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? Oh, 
Don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV. Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? Who the hell do you think was next? His uh -oh. name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. He is a good voice actor though, isn't he? Let's be honest, Troy Baker. So who Very are you good. dipshits? <laughs> we love Troy. Right. This is true. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Sure, let's go with that for now. Both Yukiko and Kanji-kun were involved in some way or another. But that announcer was dealing with their mothers, not them. You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, listen up, because I got something big. <gasps> What's that? What is that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. God damn it. Hey, Dale, how you doing? <laughs> Turns out... He was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? And look at album chart, female announcer ranking list of TV programs. That one sounds more like it's, uh... She wasn't that well known until the incident. It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. Oh, is it like a publicity thing, maybe? If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. Hope you're doing well though, Dale. What are these dates? April 11th? Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. Feels bad, Yosuke. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi April 13th? Dale Kunplas. I know my place, I'm sorry, ma'am. Velvet has, uh. Velvet has stated. No, I gave her a present a long. Ooh, wait, that's beside the point. It's just a thought, but was that the day Saki Senpai was interviewed on TV? Oh, yeah, I saw that too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Sorry, did we not already establish that they were all in interviewed on TV? I'm pretty sure I said that at some point. Then this part Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV too? Oh, she was on. Hey, wait I think a I second. just skipped a bit of dialogue shit. Go. Didn't you get interviewed too? 
when did that interview air? Yeah, Joel was saying that Velvet that they can be a little bit like just to really make sure the uh, person gets it, they're willing to repeat everything quite a lot. It's fine. I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, it was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I went shopping that day, so April fifteenth. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... The date, just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? Yeah, I think... I don't know if I'd already said it, but I think that was pretty well... implied. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, no, I think you're right, Velvet. I think they do that a lot in Japanese games, generally. I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It might even be a translation thing for all I know, but even then, I feel like they must be to some extent quite sort of like... I don't know, I, I could be wrong, but it, it could be through translation, who knows. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way of saying it's snug, that's, that's a good point. It is sort of literally just them being like, yep. Yeah, we're going to yell it in both ears, just in case you didn't hear it the first time. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. Killers, stop making music. Connection here killing the people. Kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case; they were also shown on the mass media. That must be it. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because? I pressed the wrong button there, chat. Sorry, I went to mute my microphone. <laughs> you got a bit of bonus cat, I do apologise. Oh, I was, I was meant to do cat for beanie, wasn't I? Oh well, we'll do it at the end. Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Why can't I be smarter? Me too, Dude, Yosuke. Why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. This guy really has changed his tune, hasn't he? It's not a bad thing whatsoever, but he really has. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's true, but... What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways. Let's keep checking the midnight channel like usual when it rains. Sounds like a plan. Me. The school campouts next week. I hope it doesn't rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji Kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Yes, the camp out. Oh boy. Well, it sounds like we're probably going to be doing that this week at some point. Camp out's great. Okay. Yo. Mind if I order another grilled steak? I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh...
We're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. We doing huh? heady now too? Fine, whatever. I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? None of it. Got done. Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Didn't think it was a bear though. Hey, why is it a bear? I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering too. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Aw. Mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister. <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear. That's it, stranger danger, Teddy. Well done. I'm proud. <laughs> uh, by the way, I've, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko Senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Uh, what was it like for Senpai? Wow, well, all right. Oh, sorry. That's that slap. So hard. My jaw. I'll be more gentle next time. Next time, excuse me. More gentle. Oxic. <laughs> what a pair of dimwits. Oh yeah, here's a present from me, Kanji. It's to celebrate you joining the team. Here we go, have so these some... these are the glasses you guys told me about. Have some piss goggles, mate. It means you can see through the piss dimension. Hurry, put them on. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy he gets to wear those ones. But please say he's the one that wears those. It, it Never mind. Perfect on you. <laughs> Here we go. Cue laughing fit. Dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. Laughing fit free, yep. Yeah. yeah, real funny, you smartass. You just hit Teddy, what a bastard. Why are you taking it out on me? Give me that. What is going on? You took my spare pair. Hanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh my sorry. <laughs> oh no. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Lost forever. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it! I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> there we go, right, we can save now, I believe, unless we're gonna get another cutscene. Now we're good. Right. Cool beans, right, I'm gonna save and wrap it up here, folks. After 15 minutes over, well, of going over even, but yeah. That was fun, we, we made some good progress, we beat Kanji's, um, dungeon today we did pretty good uh, thank you joel thank you velvet thank you slug for joining and the following my dude much appreciated thank you dale for coming by at the end thank you ben thank you beanie thank you joe thank you milky thank you anybody else that lurked thank you anybody that hung a came by i don't know anything i'm gonna leave it on cat now uh while i close everything but yeah have a good evening everyone uh, and in a bit bye bye We'll be, sorry, we'll be back with Persona tomorrow as well, I want to add. Yeah, in a bit. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.